think it's important to say, David, our Prime Minister and our Chancellor have been saying to Greece for the last year and a half, you should raise more taxes, raise VAT and cut spending like we're doing in Britain because it will work for you. And what's happened in Britain, our economy is flatlined for a year, our unemployment is rising, austerity, I'm afraid, Theresa, is leading to more borrowing as well as low growth here in Britain. We should stop lecturing other people to do what's not working in Britain and start putting our own house yep. in order as well. And what can do Theresa May. And, we, and we, all, we all know what your answer to that is, Ed. Your answer to that is that actually we should go and, in, and do more borrowing, even more borrowing, because you seem to think that the way to get out of uh, having a debt on your credit card is taking out another loan. And we all know that that's not the way to do things. And if we were to we follow what you're suggesting, what would happen is, sadly, the markets would turn against us. We'd see interest rates going up. It would be more costly for businesses. Theresa, and that is, that everybody is, would be paying more on their mortgages. That is e that's the that, impact of what you're proposing. That is economic incoherence. The idea that you can talk about a country in that way. We were told a year ago, if we cut fast than every other country would grow more strongly and the private sector would create jobs. Our economy is flatlined, we've, um, we've grown more slowly than other European countries, our borrowing is £46 billion higher. And the private higher. sector has created jobs? No, the private sector has created far fewer jobs than the public sector has lost, which is why employment right. is falling and unemployment is rising. Shirley, How long it? are you going to carry on with an economic experiment which is costing huge amounts, hurting many families up and down the country and is not working? It's time for a plan B.